Hey everyone, I'd be curious Scorch here. I'd just like to preface this video by saying that the audio in this um, video is a little loud. That will be fixed in the next one, definitely. Because, oh my gosh, you guys are going to love this run if you're a Binding of Isaac fan. I know I enjoyed playing it. But anyway, hope you dudes enjoy. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did, and, well, I'll see you dudes later. Take care. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Binding of Isaac. This is a game I, honestly, I really love it. It's really fun. Hopefully, you this recording goes well. I really hope this game isn't slow, because I love this game, and I love the, the content and all that on it. But I just do that. Actually, I'll keep the sound effects on. Man, I just love this game so much. The way I got into this game is e e e Toric. Um, man, I would watch him every day. And then I found the YouTuber Northern Line. Some of you may have heard of him. Um, he's hilarious. And then I also found, um, Biznap. Now, Biznap is going to be one of my favorite <laughs> of all time. His videos are amazing. You can't forget about his freaking Binding of Isaac. Like that. That was amazing. <coughs> he that a lot of amazing videos. Right now, um, the Duke of Flies, which is what we're finding right now, he um, spits out flies. Uh, pretty much the easiest boss in the game, except I'm probably going to get hit a few times while doing this. Now, this episode and the next one, the part of the game, will probably be different. Because um, I'm gonna use something and see how crap does this game. But also, if you're unfamiliar with this game, I'm going to sort of explain how it works. Um, each thing is randomly generated. And it's an amazing game, you'll never know what time you're gonna get. It's really fun. First floor always you can unless it's yeah. down. Really. Unless it's extra large floor. The treasure room will always be unlocked. And flies, if you go up here, except the bigger flies, the flies cannot for some reason not go up here as you see they stop coming. And it's a pretty good thing to know as well. But I don't want to do this much. And there's also the um, brim snap, which hopefully I'll get to show you. Yeah. You know, I, I really want to do this, and maybe I'll just do 
gonna get cheat engine eventually and show you guys that because I'm, I'm barely, honestly, whenever I'm regularly play, I barely ever get it. And it's a fairly powerful item. But I'm not gonna say what Brimstone is for if you don't know what it is, but I can't be surprised because it's extremely overpowered. But, um, yeah. Okay, I just love it, I just love it. Now I play in the war with Stan because the quality of the game doesn't matter. It's a fun game, I'll play it. Except the plot screw that game. Honestly, I've never played a game I just don't want to because I'm, I don't like getting mad. Now we kill that um fat fly thing it's called or something. So that fly just it shoots two. And there's one that's smaller but it's both gray. And we got mom's uh, yeah, mom's underwear. It's a range up. See down there in the corner. Now some of those items are actually labeled wrong. I'll explain those when we find those. Now down to the next floor is the basement two. Oh, we got it. Okay. Sometimes when that happens, you'll get like a glitch will make the thing go white, but don't freak out. Sometimes I think the game will crash. Now see, right there, it's a treasure room. Now it's locked. I don't understand why this is a boss. It has a boss meter, but this is also a boss later in the game, except it's, it's really, really not a threat. I mean, it's stronger than these, but it turns into these things. I can't remember the name of it exactly. Oh, and the cellar is also part of the Wrath of the Lamb expansion pack. Without it, and your tile screen changes. Screen. I think it's blue, blue baby. I can't. I don't remember the name. Brother Bobby. There we go. Which is a familiar, which just shoots along with you. Now I don't know the exact stuff, like stats on these things. Now that's a cursed room. You go in it. It takes half hour. You go out it. It takes half hour. Except if you have a flying item, it, you only take one half heart going in and out, and that's a soul heart. It doesn't once it's gone, it's gone. You don't get it back, but it's that's a nice little help. So technically, sorry we didn't lose any health there, but we did. Don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say there, but um yeah. Spitters. Honestly, spiders are the most annoying thing to me in this game. Man. This is one of my favorite games of all times. Like, a lot of my friends don't like it. But I love games like this. I want to have somebody I can actually talk to this about because it's really fun. Oh, another. Oh, actually, I'll kill this. Just clear this room first. Okay, so um, this right here is a tinted rock. It's blue tinted, unlike these, which are just. These are normal, these are not. When you blow these up with like a bomb, well, you drop soul hearts, bombs, maybe keys. You can drop two soul hearts, and after I don't know when you I think you have to destroy 40 rocks in order to unlock, but you can get the small rock, which is a, a pretty decent damage up and uh, not that big of a deal, like a little small little speed down. I didn't even think to actually upload this game because it's a lot of fun. Okay, so that's a demon beggar. There's also sort of other beggars, but that when you give them, you give them money, and then they have a chance of giving you a pretty good item or also a very bad item, depending on depending on what you think of the item.
and but this demon beggar you give it hearts and it can give you items from like the devil pool uh, maybe I think angel pool depending on which room is on the floor but I'm not sure if you're able I'm able to get angel rooms yet I mean I haven't played a okay I'm gonna tell you how these work first a devil room can spawn in any floor besides the first one unless you get uh, the joker card or teleport there through a chest through a red chest and the angel rooms depend I don't know what you guys want to call them. I just call them angel rooms you cannot find them and like I don't know if you take a devil realm you can devil item you cannot get an angel room or deal with the devils which costs hearts but when you get into an angel room it's just free and one of the honestly one of the best items the um the sacred heart it's amazing hopefully you will find it eventually but say if you've played um one run you can't get an angel room if you play one another run in the same session you can get one so I think sometimes before I start playing this game I'll play another run just to fool around in it I won't record it so in the next run we can get angel rooms but on the first floor you cannot get any room second floor those become available now that that fire right there that's not the actual fire that fire is a different color as it's an orange I, don't, I can't remember I've seen actual like normal tinted rocks but those those will shoot bows they'll shoot um, stuff at you unlike the normal fire and this room just don't do it it's crap you step on that and it has pretty much just a chance of giving you a chest so I, I'm pretty sure it can even be locked so it's a it's not worth it it's, it's a pointless room that why would you use it that should horrible and Gert oh seriously Gertie Jr worst boss to start off with so much. So very easy, especially when you have one freaking knockout. The thing is, it flies as well. Now, I don't know the exact stats on all the items, but I'll tell you what I know. There's a lot of stuff that I know about the Simorn from the two YouTubers, Northern Line and Disney. You can check them out. There's Sir Tumblr. You'll know it because I'll forget. I don't know when this is going up. It's 10 p.m. Probably right before the morning. Yeah. Oh man. Actually, I think I got a pretty good, decent explanation on mechanics in this game. But I will explain more mechanics as they appear. I think, and then some of them, I'm just really dumb. I just pretty much just go by. I never go by. The radioactive spider, which is pretty easy to get. I'm just really happy that that's finally unlocked, which is a quad. I'm gonna get that. Oh, and right here, this is the devil room. If you get through the boss without taking red heart damage, it doesn't matter if it's on the floor or anything, it's only red heart damage, and I only took soul, like, soul heart damage in that fight. So because of that, once you get hit, it lowers your like chance of getting a devil room by a lot. I don't know the exact numbers, but um, let's see what items we got in here. Oh, man, Guppy's paw. Is this gonna be that run? Am I gonna do this? I'm doing it. It takes away your heart permanently, but it gives you three soul hearts for each one that you do. And um, this c could end up coming back to kill me, but I don't care. I haven't done, honestly, I'm r not that good at this game. I've only, I mean, I used to be really good at it. Not, I'm not, that's not supposed to make me sound cocky. Hopefully it doesn't. Oh yeah, there's also a secret room. I'll explain the mechanics of that whenever I'm actually not lazy enough to go and find it. Because sometimes it's just hard and I only got one bomb and I'm not going to save that fucking like rock. Oh man! The luck! Okay, but we can't reach that. <coughs> what that is, is that is a golden key. 
what that does is pretty much um, lets you if you just lets you unlock every door on that floor or any chest. That key never goes away until you leave the floor, which I honestly think the effect of that should be replaced with actual skeleton key items, which is it's honestly it's that's a pretty good thing to do. Or in the next game, which I think it's coming in like 2015, 2014, uh, Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Can't wait for that. But um, where um the skeleton key gives you 99 keys, where like lore and stuff is just a key that could unlock anything or any door. But see, that's what that does. The skeleton key just give in this game just gives you 99 keys, so it just maxes you out in keys. I mean, you'll never need that yeah, keys again unless you get a bomb. Like, can't remember what it's called, but um, really good, really flying item. And you can also bomb your way out of rooms. You just put a bomb next to the door, and um, I'm gonna be stupid and go in here. This could kill me. And there's fire in the chest. I'm actually not doing that bad for normally when it, when any game runs slow, I do really bad. Now these videos will probably be much longer than normal. Okay, so. I'm not going to open that chest because it does take a key. And I would like to get to the treasure room first. Or the item room. Oh no. Oh no. Agreed head. Oh, there's an actual name for these, but I hate these things. They're really powerful. Oh, and we got catacombs too. Dang it, that's the harder version of the floors. What, by, with the Wrath of Land, it adds another version of the floors, which are much harder. And normally in the, the default version of Binding Isaac, you can, they'll make... The max tile screen you can get to is Golden God. With this one, you can get Platinum God. Which I do have a save with that on, which I mentioned earlier in this episode. Or part. Oh my gosh, a golden poop. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and destroy this now before I accidentally leave the room. It just drops some money and I never get those. And I'm really happy to see this. Now, man, now we're doing stuff. Now, oh crap. Now, when you destroy the poop with um, the flies around it, those white flies, those are just, I think they're called eternal flies, they cannot be killed until you kill their source. Or poop, whatever you want to call it. I just call it source for some reason. Not the source again. Okay, this one's getting annoying. Oh, and now I think I might go back and unlock that golden chest. We're not on a Excel floor, so that, that, that that'll be worth doing. Ooh, Lord, that is um two hearts, but lower speed. Which I don't care for speed. Speed's crap, really. See, now I could just do with one speed up, but speed can get you killed in this game. Some people really like speed. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. Now I'm waiting to use Guppy's Paw on this, because we may get a better space bar item. Or not. And another health up. Oh, wow. That's great. <laughs> the luck on this. Dude, we could kill freaking Mom. Maybe. We haven't got a single damage up, and that really makes me concerned about the survivability of this. <gasps> oh my gosh, the Fallen. Oh, crap. Freaking, I'm covered up in a blanket right now. Okay, so, um, this is the Fallen. Sometimes you'll fight, I, don't, I think you, you fight you to, um, Shoal, if you, when you unlock that. See, now, now, that's broomstone right there. That's the kind of thing you shoot when you have broomstone. 
and now I can explain what frame snap is. So you just, when you fire it, you just tap the directional pad. Now, um, also thing, the first, when you kill him, he'll drop a deal with the devil item. Unless you re-roll it with the d6. Or the dice. Which, after you, after a while, dies, like, I think you have to beat uh, your baby with the blue baby. Hopefully you'll never have to see what that character is, because I hate him so much. Like, really. I mean, he's better than Samson. I hate Samson. Yeah, I don't know if I... Uh, if I kill him? Like, if that'll count as me unlocking Eve as a... Eve is my favorite character. I really hate her because of her, her being horrible and everything. Now the reason I haven't used Guppy's Paw is also another thing that if I get low on health, I can just use it, get more three more soul hearts. Not fight the fallen. Actually, I'm doing fairly decent against him. I still have not taken red heart damage, which I will do anything like my heart to just because I would love to get angel room. That's but we have almost killed him. It's lagging a lot. <laughs> now we've almost gotten killed. Oh, what is he gonna drop? Oh, oh, dead cat. I'm not gonna do that yet. <gasps> Baby girl. Baby girl. Uh, I have a really good explanation for why I did that. Um, this is gonna be the death of me, but, um, we just got Guppy. Okay, this is stuff you unlock for when you get Eve. But, um, I am too happy right now when we take this. I don't know if it'll work, because I have no soul. Right. Yes! Please, please just let me be Guppy. We're extremely overpowered now. We have flight. Oh my gosh. As Guppy, that gives us fly, and every time we hit an enemy, that gives us a kamikaze fly, which I do like two times our damage, maybe four times our damage. This run could not be going any better. <laughs> okay, let me see. Those things rolling around us? Those are kamikaze flies. Um, I cannot explain my happiness right now. First run in the Binding of Isaac in... Who knows how long. And, um, it's just this good. Um, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> wow. Now, see, if I would have took Dead Cat right away, I wouldn't be Guppy right now. To be Guppy, you need to get three Guppy items. Now, if I die in a room as Guppy, I'm just gonna end it there because, um, then. I'll have, I have nine lives now since I'm a cat. Once you pick up the dead cat, that's what happens. Soon, I'm honestly, I really don't want to have to, but I might have to just quit. And I, that would kill me if I had to quit, both literally. <laughs> and I do not want to quit, but we did unlock a lot of stuff in this episode. Oh, dang it, it looks like that's going to happen a lot sooner. Because then I'll respawn with only one heart. I mean, you get nine lives, but one heart. It's decent. I mean, I don't hate the item. I mean, I was honestly debating about picking it up in the first place as soon as I saw it. But then I saw that I didn't even think about the fact that we could become a guppy. <gasps> oh my gosh. I didn't feel happy. Oh my gosh. Kamikaze. <laughs> okay, now see. Kamikaze is actually a pretty good item because it can go directly to the wall. It does not do damage. Normally it'll do a full hearted damage to you. But if you go up, if you're pressing up against the wall, you have to be actually pushing yourself into the wall. You can't just be near the wall. And then, yeah, you will not take damage. This is a horrible room. You guys have a boss trap room right there. And, um, we can actually get into that.
is actually very nice. Mm, yeah. Which a boss trap you I think you fight two bosses and it's my my throw. It's some other boss. Is that box open? And another key. Look at me, I got a key. Okay. John says it's seven tiers up and HP up. So it's HP up and a damage up. I I don't know exactly how I don't think it's a, a tears up. I know it is a damage up. That is one of the items that I said that were labeled wrong. I didn't say it was labeled wrong. It I was like oh, found it. I have no idea what I'm talking about. At least some of you wouldn't. The, the sheer, like, awesomeness of this uh, Okay, now we gotta pop 10. No, not 10, um... Dude, isn't it forever? Play this game. Bang, bang, yes. But I swear, if we actually kill mom on the first run... Oh, baby. I'm gonna be so happy. That should be it. Okay, yeah. Mom's the final boss, by the way. Oh, spoiler alert. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we have 29 coins. How about we, you know, hit up the shop? Maybe it'll have an item that I want. Maybe, like, the habit. I mean, it's pretty much useless right now, but I still take it because it's the habit. No, but, um, that's a normal colored fire, by the way. I don't care for shooting a fire, even though it can, it can give you money. Oh my gosh, I'm just so happy about this run. Oh my gosh. Oh, these guys. Oh, oh, that was almost really bad. Pretty useless. Sometimes I think I may, may stream this game in the future. But in the future you can expect streams from like just all sorts of games maybe. Because um, right now my laptop can't really handle that stuff, but um I've been recording for 27 minutes. Ooh, that upload time. Uh, oh well I am using um Bandicam. And have I'm recording in half size, so this will honestly probably go up in like what maybe about ten minutes. I'll upload this in the morning. Next, oh yeah, next Wednesday is Christmas. I can't believe it, dude! I swear it was just Halloween. Man. Halloween wasn't that fun for me though. I didn't. I mean, I never go trick or treating. I just my mom just will just buy me candy because I do love going trick or treating. So uh, I'm not gonna really do anything. It's just sometimes it's like for how long I usually go out there. It also, just pains me. The hollow. getting an itch in the middle of recording like every time I record I never say anything about it but I always get an itch on my left leg. this boss is relatively easy unless you get a champion version of it and sometimes now, I really hope this gameplay is not that loud for you guys my play with that Ooh, Splunky, that's a, um, a Splunky reference. Now, the death won. We may be able to beat Mom. Now, this isn't... Oh, I forgot. Oh. I don't know. 
rein. Seriously, this room. Dude, I have not done this good since the first time I defeated Isaac. Or no, the first time I um got um Sacred Heart, which I already had an item called um what's it called? Epic Fetus. When you get Epic Fetus, it won't let you a missile or rocket down from above. If that overrides every other tier effect, um, it does eighty damage. Only way you'll know what damage you do is if you use like cheat engine. Cheat engine or spider mod. Spider mod because that will I have to using that, but that will just like that's just like sort of a mod of the game that's available for free. Um I'm gonna tell you guys about it, so if you wanna go and find that, so feel free, but I'm not gonna directly link it to you. Ooh, mom's pearl. I can't remember what it does. I think it does have it have something to do with um, now the official name for those, I believe, are spirit hearts. But I, mean, uh, I think, but I call them soul hearts. Like a majority of the people who play this game, I'm pretty sure call them. And there's the boss for the depth one. Oh man, Monstro Two. Not the monster. <laughs> but could easily kill us. I'm not the best at fighting him. Oh, we'll do. Oh crap! He's not doing. Oh, no. Do what you're supposed to do, Monstro. There you go. Now we're going to find the champion to play double. So you guys, now, a lot harder to get out of the paint. Now we have to get shredded and down. Ooh, that's great. Now this could damage and it did we get our first carrot card temperance that we also get a pill what is it gonna be actually I'm not gonna use this yet because I would like to well that's stuff's useless now well all I gotta say is last floor Let's kill mom. It's happening. First run I ever do on my channel is beating mom. So what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to speed run it towards getting mom. So yeah. Let's see how we can do it. Horrible FPS. Great run. I could care less if this game is running slow now. Right now. Um, but I'm just extremely happy about the fact that I'm doing this game. <gasps> There's the boss room. Get some equipment. As soon as we. How about let's just destroy him all? Now, hopefully, we're gonna shred him off because now we're producing even more. Now, all I gotta say is, um, let's do this! Yeah! Isaac versus Mom. Isaac! Oh!
And here's what mom does. She will do that. And see that over there? That's a tented rock. Now we can, I'm pretty sure we'll just get to get her to stop on this. Here we go. Okay, we destroyed him. And normally I get destroyed by him. I think I'm only just one hit. Isaac! Now you can do like a little right here, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do it the right way, or anyways, the right way if you're a cheater. Oh my! God. That's it, guys. We have won our very first run in the Binding of Isaac, and um, oh, well, yeah. I'm sorry. Isaac was cornered. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her God, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. And there you have it, guys. Our very first run in The Binding of Isaac is a win. I love this game so much. And, um... You can definitely expect more of this, cause I thought I was gonna die on the second floor when I was coming into this, but um, yeah, I literally thought we were gonna die. No, we won. <laughs> wow, you know it's probably making this game run even slower. Is the fact that I have. Firefox open watching Markiplier's videos. Great YouTuber, by the way. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, okay, now we can go check out our stats. Um, 11, let's see what we got. Cube of meat. Isaac was cornered. Gosh darn it. Okay, guys. Well, anyway, I accidentally just clicked on that again. Sorry. But, um. Oh, man. So, um. Well, I want. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comment section below. It's right down there. I'm pretty sure you can probably see it. Unless you're watching this in full screen. If you press escape, you know, I bet you could probably go down there and see if. You, let me know if you really, like, no, not really enjoyed If you just enjoyed it in general, I would be happy to do more of this. Um, 38 minutes so far. This is, I believe, our long, my longest video on my channel. Of course, every Isaac video will. And eventually, depending on what I do, if I break the game, it will be at least over in maybe, probably at least an hour, maybe even two hours. I've seen Isaac runs that go on for an hour. You found secrets. These are all the ones we have unlocked. The Womb, Chapter 4, Mother Sleeps. And the Harbingers. Of and there's, I believe, there's a lot of endings here that we got to get. 15 items total. Mom kills zero since we haven't actually killed mom. We just killed her foot, technically. Deaths zero so far we're going one and zero and wins. 
collection. It just shows you what you have. Delete save, OMG. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed that, leave, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did. And um, well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.